which is why my whole basic philosophical approach to martial arts as a whole is we think street with our mind because that's why we are all here. The most primal reason is I want to win if life and limb are involved. We think street, we train sport because our, we have our bodies and a short life and a short athletic window and we have to train our uh, bodies. And the sport, we create man-made rules in order but to enhance an aspect or an area of an art or a style. And that's, and, but those are the sports. We, we make a game out of it because the sport is practical. Mm -hmm. It's in a practical just to have a complete no rules fight. Sure. Even, even an unlicensed, non-sanctioned brawl in a pub or in, in Uncle Paul's yard still has the cultural rules. Sure. It still has other often males huddling around organizing how it's done. That is sport too. Mm. So, so when I say paint street, I don't mean a, a duel between men. That is a sport. Whether it's legal or not, it is still sport. What I mean is survival combat. When I mean sport, I mean all aspects. From Uncle Chuck's, Uncle Chuck's barnyard grapple off rules to Aunt Pauline slap fight rules to IBJ, <laughs> the JF to MMA rules to high school wrestling rules to international but taekwondo rules all these are rules right and we as humans give these sanctioning groups whether we want to call them public or a private legal or not we give them the authority to guide us in what we call being rules mm. and then the art the art is of what jiu-jitsu say is how do i control and submit my opponent utilizing the least amount of athletics and the maximum amount of knowledge skill but cunningness and guile the sport is how do i control and submit my opponent utilizing all of my art and the maximum amount of my athletics within the man-made rules of the venue the street is, I don't even describe, because we all at a primal level know what that really means. Hmm. And so that is my general approach to all combat arts. So searching for the, the middle way and all that stuff instead of trying to, like you said, put it into a nice, neat little box that you can say yes or no to. Yes. Um, so I got one more point I got to add. Sure. And the middle way, if one extreme is black and the other is white, the middle way then is gray, right? Mm -hmm. But you cannot tell what is gray without having a black or a white. Mm, sure. And that is why we have to at least mentally explore extremes. Mm -hmm.